This is what no-till agriculture looks like as soybeans are being planted in this field where wheat was grown and harvested earlier this year. No-till is a way of growing crops from year to year without disturbing the ground through tillage, which increases the amount of water going into the soil and increases the organic matter and nutrients returned to the soil. This is constantly breaking down. University of Kentucky Extension Soils Specialist Lloyd Murdoch was new to the scene at UK's Research and Education Center in Western Kentucky when no-till was first practiced in the early 1960s. Murdoch said no-till revolutionized agriculture. Basically, no-till has allowed us to continue to farm and pass the, the farm on to the next generation just as good as it was before. We couldn't do that before no-till. It was impossible. And uh, I've read accounts and, and talked to some of those older fellows when I first came in, and they talked about how the erosion and the ditches were, were there and, and how they didn't think we were going to be able to continue to farm in two or three more generations. The introduction of no-till agriculture more than 50 years ago is what brought a video crew from Columbia University to this farm in Christian County, where no-till first began in Kentucky. This historical marker recognizes the birthplace of no-till farming here in Kentucky at the Harry and Lawrence Young Farm here in Christian County. Today, Harry's son and grandson continue to farm this land. We sometimes are known as Young Farms, and sometimes it's just John Young and my son Alexander Young. The video crew began by interviewing John Young to find out more about how his father, Harry, who became the first to try an hotel in Kentucky, and how it changed farming forever. That recognition fills Lloyd Murdoch with pride, who left his mark on early no-till research. It makes me proud to be a Kentucky, and it makes me proud to be a member of the University of Kentucky and a part of the group that helped change uh, the world in some extent. I think, I think the state of Kentucky take a lot of pride in that. For videographer Adam Morrell, filming began in Ghana, then to Kentucky to show the contrast between no-till agriculture in Ghana and here at home. That led them to Lloyd Murdoch and their quest to find an expert in no-till agriculture. I'm looking for someone that knows no-till in and out or has been involved with it for so long and he reached out to a friend and he just got back within the hours sending back uh, Lloyd's name and contact information so we're able to get in contact with Lloyd and, and uh, make this all happen. The video crew spent two days in western Kentucky shooting video and interviews for the project at both the Young Farm in Christian County and UK's Research and Education Center in Princeton. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.